Hello and welcome to the Marco Island Center for the Arts and our new exhibition, March through July 2020, Artistic Reflections. This exhibition will be with us until October 6th. Now we want to reassure you that your safety and well-being is of paramount importance to us, so we are following every safety guideline and protocol within the building. So please come and join us, but bring your own mask or we'll have one for you. We do require that you wear a mask when you're in the building and we respectfully request that you'll honor the rules of the house. We are proud to be showing the works of 34 area artists in this show. Many of these artists having had uninterrupted time to work, have created extraordinary and creative pieces. For some, creating artwork has provided a sense of purpose, as well as providing sanity in these challenging and somewhat frightening times. Still other artists have used their artistry to reflect issues of the day, whether addressing coronavirus, social justice, loneliness, despair, or hope. So come on down to the Marco Island Center for the Arts, 1010 Winterberry Drive on Marco Island. The Art Center is a gallery. I am in a gallery, and we encourage you to purchase art from your area artists. Come on now, you have a wall or a shelf or a curio that has space for that special something that you're looking for and we can help you find it. Become a collector or add a new piece of art to the collection you already have. Now, let's get started. We had an incredible showing of three-dimensional art for March through July 2020, Artistic Reflections. As many know, we have a very active clay studio filled with stupendous artists who have all been hard at work um, during these difficult times and have been creating just stunning pieces of art down there and we were thrilled that several of our clay artists brought their work for this show. One of those artists is Jean Camposano and we are looking at her piece called Pop of Color Pitcher. It is a clay piece and as she said to me while she was working she was experimenting with colors that were fun and that were lively, that it would be art meant to brighten your day. This is Pop of Color, picture by Jean Camposano. Next clay piece, which as you can see, won first place in our two dimensional, in our th three dimensional work. Another clay artist, the lovely Eva, Kabinsky. Oh, I, I apologize, I forgot to mention that Jean Camposano's Pop of Color picture was awarded an honorable mention. Eva Kabinsky's Shelter in Place, where she created a vase where she was working with new and different shapes to create this stunning piece that would look beautiful in your home. Billy Graneman, who has also had her own exhibition here, a one-woman show, does paper book art. The pieces she brought for this show are entitled Eternal Truths and Words of Life. The special thing about these books is that the covers are religious icons that Billy bought at centuries-old cathedrals and monasteries that she visited on her travels in Greece and Israel. She told me she only wished she had bought more as she loves the way these books turned out, and so do we. Hopefully, 
when she can travel again, when we all can travel again, Billy will be able to get more and create more beautiful paper book art. Shell art is particularly popular here on Marco Island, and artist Carol Kane brought us some of hers. These three three-dimensional beauties are simply entitled shell number one, shell number two, and shell number three. However, it's interesting to note that all the shells are from Marco. And when Carol was looking down and looking at pieces of broken shells, she was thinking, how can you make something whole out of something that was broken? And how can you take these broken pieces and turn them into something that is beautiful, that becomes beautiful art? Shell art by Carol Kane. The three clay pieces here were done by two different artists, two we have, who we have mentioned already. The two vases that you see were done by clay artist Eva Kabinsky. One entitled Shelter in Place was created using a new glaze. The other also was work that was created um, when experimenting which we had time to do, um, which resulted in this very delicate and quite beautiful crystal pattern on the lighter blue vase. That piece is entitled, Life Becomes Crystal Clear. This time has given people a chance to experiment, to play, and to be surprised by what their art turns out to be. As you can see, the Life Becomes Crystal Clear vase was awarded a third place in the three-dimensional art category. And behind is a stunning bowl by Jean Camposano entitled Blue Ocean Bowl it was created, inspired by the ocean that surrounds us because when we were able to get out, the ocean was one of the first things that people wanted to go and see and experience. Blue Ocean Bowl by Jean Camposano. Artist Nancy Norman, as she observed this surge of change, was made to think of the world of modern art. Piet Mondrian is a favorite of hers and was the inspiration for these three pieces of art, Mondriani New Again Bowl 1, Mondriani New Again Bowl 2, and Mondriani New Again Platter. When discussing these pieces, the artist wondered that when the pandemic was over, what will be the something new that we look for then? Clay work by Nancy Norman. Artist Ginny Mueller is known for her exceptional, innovative, detailed, imaginative, creative work. Her pieces are whimsical, charming and true collector's items. The pieces for this show are in a rather delightful way, still a reflection of what have, has been difficult times. The piece, My House is My Castle, speaks for itself as many of us spent more time in our homes than we had before. It is followed by Life Has Been a Circus, with all sorts of crazy circus animals popping out, and the statement made that animals matter.
And finally, a piece with a message to us all, Ginny Mueller's clay artwork entitled Safe at Home. Marie Seneschal is known for working daily on her charming and beautiful quilts. She told me that the work that she does is what has given her life purpose. It's what keeps her young. The first quilt that we're looking at is entitled Open Your Heart to Love. These are beautiful works of art, but would also make a beautiful baby gift. Open Your Heart to Love. Textile Art by Marie Seneschal. Marie Seneschal's second entry into our show is entitled, All the World Needs Love. A message that has significant meaning in this day and age. Marie Seneschal's beautiful handmade quilt. Fiber artist, Jean Mao, piece entitled Isolation is a haunting reflection of how the artist has been feeling during these times. This piece was awarded second place in the three-dimensional arts. The piece is multi-dimensional in its use of textiles and fabrics. Isolation by artist Jean Mao. Artist Jean Mao has also created this piece entitled COVID Self-Portrait. Prior to the coronavirus pandemic, the artist had started this work as a self-portrait. Um, and as you can see with the details, it is fun, it is fanciful as the artist is herself and it was during these trying times that she added the mask to reflect what we were all living through. COVID self-portrait, Jean Mao. Thank you for joining us and we hope that you've enjoyed March through July 2020 Artistic Reflections. The staff at the Marco Island Center for the Arts looks forward to welcoming you. Again, we can assure you that you will be safe when you come and visit us. So please stop by and remember, wear your mask.